Hey guys, so if you're interested in becoming a port trucker or if you are interested and you have no idea what it may be about or anything about the industry, I'm going to kind of do a small video to kind of get you the port trucking 101, I guess, if you will. So first off when you're looking for a port trucking company you really want to get one that pays hourly because this is what you do a lot of the time is just sit here and wait that's what it, that's a lot of it <clears throat> is just sitting here and waiting so you want to get one that either pays by the hour or pays you standby time so basically pays you by the hour after you sit in the out a port for the for an hour basically that's what you want to find because you can sit in the port for 30 minutes on a good day and you can sit in the port six hours on a bad day i've sat in the port from 8 a.m to 4 p.m before waiting to get a load out so it can be good and it can be bad so that's why i say hourly is the way to go uh you have to have a twic card which is a transportation worker identify identification credential which i believe it's 129 dollars i don't know if the price is somewhere around there 120 129 somewhere around there yeah you have to get one of those but as we progress in the port, I will take you along and kind of show you what it's all about. All right, so as we continue on here, so this terminal has what they call a quick gate. So your dispatcher puts in all the information when you come in such as your container number and all that information so when you come in here you don't have to talk to anybody to get your empty in sometimes you do sometimes you don't most of the time it works pretty well but if you need any kind of container out unless you already have a location because sometimes you will have a location already so you can just go straight to your location and wait but if you don't you have to come up here on the scales and talk to somebody and tell them hey i got a i need a can out or whatever and then they'll tell you the location that you need to go to and when coming in sometimes too you have to do the same thing with the load so you basically say hey i need an empty container out or load out and I'll tell you exactly where you need to go so I haul mostly reaper cans so there this particular port has a whole reaper area that just does reapers so most of the time that's where I go but if you have a dry can then you would go to the crane row and you would wait and the guy will come over and talk to you and say, you know, where you need to go underneath the crane. And then the crane will lower the container down onto you. See, so as we pull down, as we pull on the scale, I already know my location for my load out. So as long as this quick gate works,
chassis so you can put your container on it. But a lot of companies have their own chassis.
basically if you have any problems getting your can or if you have a problem with the can you can go to the trouble room and they will help you or tell you what's wrong with it or if you have a bad can you, you go up there to get a new can that's not bad all right so now we got our location which is m19 so now we head over to m19 to get our load put on
drivers can be jerks right back. So I, you know, I can see where that can come into play. Just a 
hope you guys enjoyed that little 101 about port trucking. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos about port trucking or trucking in general, just let me know and I'll be happy to make more videos. I don't mind at all. So I hope this helped in your decision whether you want to become a port trucker or not.